Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So as promised, I'm back today with an energy forecast for the full moon. But this energy forecast is actually for the next few months as well. So it's talking about the themes as we can expect them and how to work with them in the next while. So the first point I want to make is that you will begin to feel an acute sense of knowing, drawing deep down into your intuition, knowing the truth working with the truth, identifying the injustice. There's not necessarily a need to fight. There's no need to get embroiled in it all. There's no need to get enraged. But simply knowing is enough to make the change. It is a time to go deeper and to strengthen oneself. I'm talking about being able to use your body as a measure to be able to identify that which is right and that which is wrong according to your own inner moral compass. And that is defined not by your own ideology necessarily, but by a sense of knowing what is just and what is unjust. And right now, we are becoming so much more in tune with what is right and what is wrong. And we're able to identify the injustice in every area of our lives and in every subsection of those areas of our lives. And the idea here is simply to allow oneself to become more aware of it, to allow oneself to identify the injustice, to be aware of it, not to get moved by it, to the point where you'd want to necessarily take action because now is not the right time for that. Now is time to see, to be able to identify, to see what is the truth of the matter because what we've been told and what we are seeing or what we are supposed to see, what we what is created for us to see is not necessarily the truth and it's not necessarily what is just. As we mature through this energy to be able to understand and identify and recognize what is unjust. We are needing time to become comfortable with that idea. There's time needed to assimilate that new information. And as you're able to do that, you can later devise a plan of how you're going to react to it, if at all. Now, if you work in essential services, it may be difficult for you to do this, but it is necessary for you to try it. The reason it will be difficult is because you are completely tuned in, you're completely locked into the environment. And so this lockdown that many of us are in right now is actually a blessing in disguise because you can identify the truth and you are able to go inside of you in a, on a deeper level to be able to understand what is true, not because of what the media is, is saying to you or your or your leaders are, are saying to you, but rather because you have your inner compass. For those of you who are in essential services, it's difficult for you to unplug from that. It's difficult for you to unplug from the narrative and it's difficult for you to rewrite your rhetoric. But it is necessary to try. So to be able to come home every day and take some time off to be able to feel what are you really feeling? Because as you go through your day, there are these feelings that are there, but you are constantly having to turn away from it or turn a blind eye to it or push it back down. So there needs to be some time in your day when you come back up and you're actually hearing and feeling and it's actually coming up for air. It's coming up to air those views and air the truth that is inside of you. So I stated previously in the energy forecast that I've been doing that this is a great time for healing, especially this year. Now the healing takes place on less visceral and a more intellectual mode. It's time to heal the mind and to break free from paradigms. Recognize how your training or education may have shaped your beliefs. Measure the truth in it. Measure the injustice ingrained in your profession and the choices that you've made along the way. Previously in the last couple of months would have been a great time to heal the body, to be able to heal physically. And this is not to say that you cannot do that, but the energy right now is very good to be able to heal the mind and to break free from old patterns of thought or old ideas and old belief systems. It, it's a good time to disintegrate that and let it fall apart, renewing your approach to the world. It is an important time to recognize your privilege, to note that there are those who are struggling for their lives right now, either in an ICU or in a war-torn region or simply the poorer people in your nation. And when you recognize your privilege, you are able to employ both gratitude as well as the humility necessary to be able to weed out the ingrained arrogance and self-righteousness that is applied to most trades and professions. In most of what we do, there is a sense of Yes, it's right for me to do this. Yes, it's right for me to contribute to society in this way. It's ordained by society. But this is a time in which we need to look again at what is really ordained and at what cost 
is it ordained? What are you doing right now? And what is the cost of it to the earth? What is the cost of it to other human beings? What is the cost of it to animals, etc.? All right. So this is a very important time to be able to really go in and really understand how is it that you're feeling and what it is that you're doing? What is the significance of it? And why is it that you're doing it? And how does it actually contribute to the realm? It is a time to question all that you knew. And even if you're not inclined towards questions of philosophical nature, questioning every aspect of your life is something that will come right now and it's something that should be supported. So if you find that you are tending towards that, then allow that. Allow those thoughts to come into your mind and to to take their place. It is necessary to see the globalist aspect of your life, which may be celebrated and taken for granted in this day and age, but is slowly withering away your authenticity and redefining your integrity. Our lives are so touched by so many different aspects and so many different things from all over. And we really are a global community at the moment. But in doing so, we have lost a part of our core and we've lost who we are. We've lost our own inner voice. It's been diluted. Our own strength and core, our own call has been changed. And so when I talk about it withering away your authenticity and redefining your integrity, it is a chain which impacts you. You use products from a certain place that's imported. It redefines you. It redefines who you are. It redefines who you are in in this planet. And whereas that is celebrated and that is something that can be looked at in wonder, there is a price to be paid for that as well in terms of the environment, in terms of other workers, in terms of your, your fellow human beings, as well as to yourself. And we do not recognize that the price that we are paying as fellow human beings. Now, this is not to say that we should stop using products that come in from outside of our immediate environment, but rather to be aware of what we are doing when we do that. And what is the price that we are paying? How is it changing us? And how is it weakening our call, being able to go deep down into tradition and deep down into where you've come from, through your roots, and being able to identify the call that is there? the call that is wanting to be spoken, the call that is diluted and weakened, and the call that will soon be lost as a result of that weakening. It is necessary to reach deep into yourself to access the wisdom of your ancestors, what was known to them, which has since faded from your existence, to pull together all that you need to know. Now is the time to quieten the voices that shout at you, begging you to believe for the sake of a prophet, Now is the time to allow your soul to apply its wisdom in the daily practice of your life. Now is the time to be real and to allow your truth to spring forth. Depending on where you are in the world, the next months will either be quieting down with an eerie silence or becoming more turbulent, pushing to extremes you have likely not witnessed in this lifetime. If you have actively avoided politics, it will invite itself into your life and you will not be able to escape it. Therefore, it is absolutely necessary to strengthen your core, stabilize, ground yourself and develop your intuitive ability to call upon all the forces that be to support this and you will find little resistance once you are on this path. There's going to be more of a struggle to be able to access your attention and to be able to sway you, to be able to buy you, to buy your idea, to buy your vote, so to say. And now is the time to be able to go inward, to go to your strength and core and to be able to ask, what is the truth? What do I need to know? And what do I do under these circumstances? And it's necessary for you to be guided from that place. This is not something that you need to actually have mastered, but it is something that you need to give a try you need to be able to at least allow that intuition to take over rather than say, I don't, you know, I'm not really in tune with my intuition. I don't really, I don't really have that faculty. It's time to actually allow it to just simply be and not to stress about these things, but to allow it to organize itself organically. The rest of the year can be dedicated to balancing karma, settling old debt and passing on that which you can share with others. It's very much about balancing a lot of what's taking place this year already, as well as what's happened in 2019. For those of you who've had a difficult year in 2019 and the end of 2018, the rest of 2020 and the beginning of 2021 is going to be speaking to you specifically to be able to help you bring the balance that is necessary 
Now, you might find that as this happens, that it will tear away some things in your life that are no longer necessary. Be open to this process. Be open to allowing this to actually happen. And if you do not resist, you will find that it will be a peaceful process. This energy has a character of crushing those who remain in disillusionment. If you've been running away, falling prey to distractions, ignoring the elephant in the room, preoccupied with yourself, this energy can be traumatic. So identify where is it that you've been doing that? Have you been very caught up in an infatuation or in a twin flame idea? If you have been, and if you allow it to take over you, you're going to find that you're not going to have any warnings when this energy comes your way, because it's going to it's going to unearth you. It's going to leave you in a state of disarray. What is necessary is to approach the next months in a zen-like manner with faith and trust in the goodness that exists within you and in the law of nature. And then it will be a breeze. Then it will actually work out to your advantage. Work towards that authenticity. Work towards that integrity and work towards that truth. Remember, this is the time to weed out any injustice that there is, at least in one's thought processes. I will be there to update you as we go along, but this is the immediate energy and it shall be like this till the beginning of August. In the meanwhile, I hope you enjoy this lovely full moon that we have at the moment, which is very much characterized by letting go and finishing things of the past, especially things that have been hidden away or things that you haven't realized has been impacting you quite strongly. So it is time to let go, to release, and I hope that you have a wonderful full moon and I wish you all very well. Be safe, stay healthy, and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.